it together. So with guards on the perimeter and a couple of bigs down low. They do. I mean, their guards up top, Brandon Barnett, Easton Thomas, Owen Ferryman, they carry the load on the outside, but where they really uh, make some haze on the inside, Jacob Ward at six foot three, Anthony Welsh at six foot three, Nevada Stiegelmeyer, six foot five. So they got some posts on the inside that know how to do uh, post moves and score from the inside. One and one to start the season. Kind of struggled in the second half against Triway, but then battled back and had a real very nice victory just last weekend. Yeah, 12-point win over Columbia, 78-66. You score 78 points, that's a typical Northwestern team. They like to score points, and Mark Alberts lets them shoot. Wayne Dale and Dane Hill now in his second season. They're a man-to-man -to -man team, too. The one thing they maybe don't have is a true point guard, so handling the basketball, limiting turnovers against Northwestern, got to be a huge key tonight. Jaden Zerker, Jeremy Reber, Matthias Raber, they'll handle the bulk of the ball handling duties. They do have Mark Yoder on the inside to help offset some of that size from Northwestern. I think that's going to be a big key in this game is how they handle the Northwestern bigs. And like a lot of teams, could be a different score night in, night out for the Bears. They said, look, you know, we got five guys on the floor. They're all going to be counted on 
to contribute this year. Yeah, and they're, they're senior laden. I mean, four seniors and a junior start for Waynedale. Once they get to their bench, that's when the youth starts. They got a lot of sophomores coming into the game off the bench. So, uh, you know, whichever ones can figure it out early and get used to the speed of the game will help Waynedale this year. And it's only game two for Waynedale. They didn't play this week. Last Friday, they opened up. Blowout win. You know, gets that confidence going in week one against uh, Tuslaw. Yeah, they must have shot the ball very, very well in that game. And like, like you said, 78 points. Both teams, their last game, put up 78 points. So that tells me we might be in for an interesting game tonight. Uh, to your point, they made 13 threes in that opener. And Dane Held said, look, if you make double the threes, that's a good thing no matter what. I don't know if that's going to be available tonight. Here at Waynedale, a little bit smaller gym, yeah. which means a little bit claustrophobic. We'll see how it all breaks down in the league opener. Always important in the league. And this year especially, uh, with no clear-cut favorite out of the gate, maybe Norway gets the edge if there was a popular vote. But a lot of teams, these two also, think maybe they could factor in in a couple of months. Yeah, the winner of this league it, it could very easily have three, four losses. I mean, it's just that simple. These teams are very parity even this year. So Northwestern and Waynedale here tonight on WQKT. Final pregame break. We'll come back. Uh, opening lineups and the tip-off right after this. Are you worried your savings won't last your lifetime? Star Strategies can help with a common-sense financial plan that doesn't lose to market downturns. Call 330-345-5207. That's 330-345-5207 or on the web at starstrategies.com. Star Strategies will make your money work smarter, earn more, and last a whole lot longer. Remember when life was simpler? We do. At Star Strategies, we keep things simple by explaining financial strategies in an easy-to-understand manner to help you prepare for your road ahead. It all started in 1955 when Orlo Sinclair opened Orlo Auto Parts in Oroville. Now, 15 stores later, Orlo Auto Parts continue the legacy of providing top quality parts along with helpful, friendly Napa know-how. They take pride in their family history and knowledge plus customer satisfaction at Orlo Auto Parts. Independently owned, Orlo Auto Parts has the parts you need for your vehicles, lawnmowers, farm equipment, and industrial engine. The right place for the do-it-yourselfer and the professional is Orlo Auto Parts. in Northwestern, and Pete's got a look at the starting fives. Thank you very much, Mike. Starting lineups brought to you by Hobbern Insurance. They work with multiple insurance companies to get you the best coverage at the best rates online at HobbernInsurance.com. Visiting team on the scoreboard, the one and one Northwestern Huskies, coached by Mark Alberts in his 26th season. They'll start as follows. A 5'9 senior guard, Brandon Barnett, nine points a game. Also a six-foot senior guard, Easton Thomas. He's averaging five points a game. Senior six-footer, Owen Ferriman, 16 and a half points per game. And the two guys inside, 6'3", senior Jacob Ward. He's averaging 11 a game, also six and a half rebounds. And 6'3", senior Anthony Welch. He's averaging five points per contest. Waynedale will counter with 5'11", junior Matthias Raber. Also, a 6'1 senior, Jeremy Reber. A 6'1 senior, Jaden Zerker. Also, a 6'3 senior, Mark Yoder. And a 6'2 senior, Jake Koblenz. Those are your starting lineups. They're brought to you by Hobbern Insurance in Millersburg. They have great rates on rental properties, too. Give them a call, 330-674-9091, and online at hobberninsurance.com. 
Not a complete league schedule tonight. Matter of fact, only two games in the Wayne County Athletic League. We'll run those down and also get underway as the introductions continue at Wayne Deal. Back after this. When quality matters, trust the experts at Hallmark Home Solutions. Right now, get 0% interest and zero down when you enhance your home's curb appeal with a beautiful new entryway from Hallmark. Call now for a free estimate. Hallmark Home Solutions. When quality matters, trust the experts at Hallmark Home Solutions. Right now, get 0% interest and zero down on your choice of high-quality, energy-efficient, vinyl, wood, and fiberglass windows from Hallmark. Call now for a free estimate. Hallmark Home Solutions. The employees at Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative work hard and wear many hats at the cooperative. But that dedication goes beyond providing power to keep the lights on. They are also very active in their communities. Some volunteer at their local church, others are coaching youth, and some give back through working for their township or a community board. So what makes the cooperative different? We focus on people. Holmes Wayne Electric, always here for our members, always here for our community. Down still resting for another week after their state championship run. So the Bulldogs are off. OCC tonight. Worcester visits Lexington. Madison at West Holmes. Meanwhile, non-ligger tonight. Highland traveling to Dover. Also out of the pack. Orville home for Manchester. Lucas. Central Christian also tonight. Mansfield Christian at Loudonville. One more game of note. Tusla is at Canton South. So not a full slate, but nonetheless the biggest we've had to date and it will kick off a ton over the next week or so full swing so northwestern out first the road blue uniforms with the huskies with the white numbers and letters and the gray trim waynedale in the home whites tops and bottoms with the brown numbers and letters and the gold trim and piping friday night Hopefully a good weekend for you. We started here at WQKT in the Wayne County Athletic League. Next year at this time, new building yeah. ju just across the road. Uh, everything on schedule. Good news for the folks within the Southeast local schools. So ready to go. Jumping it up, uh, Reber and Ward. And nearly 7 o'clock tip controlled by Ferriman. And quickly races down the floor and lays it up and in. Ward, good tip. Ferriman got the opening hoop. And we're underway here at WQKT in Worcester. Up the right sideline, Raber into the forecourt. Matthias up top, swinging around the horn on the left to Koblenz. Weave up top against the Northwestern man. Raber bounced down low. Good in entry pass to Yoder. Missed it. Follow up, kicked around loose, and Ferriman has it for Northwestern. Into the forecourt, the right sideline is Barnett. Top of the key now to Ward. Waynedale man-to-man -man team for the most part under Dane Held. Barnett up top will start it again. Fairman on the left. High screen roll, top of the key to the elbow. Spins, no one open, back out front. Barnett lobs down low on the wing, Fairman. Back up front, swinging around the horn to Ward on the right side, three-point line. We're a minute in, it's 2-0 Northwestern. Barnett drives, good dish baseline. Inside, the shot went up. Glass rim, no good by Welch. And the rebound controlled by Waynedale and Zerker. Up the sideline on the right. Raber kicked it down low, turning his Yoder. Back on the wing, three-point line. Quick trigger, fire. Jeremy Reber up and in. And Waynedale has a 3-2 edge. 6.40 in the opening quarter. Barnett to the forecourt on the left wing. Now top to Easton Thomas. Backdoor lob Fairman on the low block on the right, but he missed the shot. Mark Yoder rebounds, and here comes Waynedale with a 3-2 lead. Matthias Reber in the forecourt. Reber up top to Yoder. Top of the key now, Reber. There's a Reber and a Reber. And a Reber has it foul line. Dropped it down low to Koblenz. Short shot, front rim out. And Jacob Ward rebounds for Northwestern. Head of the forecourt. Ward has it up top. Put it on the deck to the foul line. Behind him to Barnett. Senior up top and around the horn. Lot of seniors on the floor, both sides. Ward top of the key to the right elbow. The runner blocked down low and out of bounds. It'll stay with Northwestern. Don't forget to order your holiday smoked ham, beef, tenderloins, and prime rib all at Canaan Meats. 
Buy a $50 gift card, get $10 free. Don't forget their daily lunch specials they have. Canaan Meats on Columbus Road in Worcester. 3-2, Wayne Dill up front, two minutes in. Northwestern ball, Fairman left wing, three up, got it from downtown. Fairman's got the first two, Northwestern hoops. You leave him alone, he's going to knock that down all night. Northwestern picking up straight man, full court. Ward bodied up on the backcourt. They double-team Koblenz. He gets it up top. He gets it back on the give-and-go. Goes to the hoop, and he got grabbed. Reach-in foul. And the first foul of the ball game on Northwestern. And they're going to whistle it on Jacob Ward. And shooting foul, which means Jake Koblenz to the line to shoot the Knights' first two free throws. Wayne Dale. Last year, right at 500, 12 and 12 for the Bears. First free throw by Koblenz, no good. Five and nine in the Wayne County Athletic League. They really want to take a step up in the loop this year. Koblenz line right, second one is good. And it's 5-4 in favor of Northwestern. 5-30 in the opening quarter. Barnett up top between the circles. Barnett pushes the Fairman high on the right and gives the ward on the sideline. Ward, left hand up front, ball got knocked loose, went out of bounds, and that's a turnover. It goes back over to Wayndale. Headquartered south of Millersburg, Mack Oil Field Service offers trucking, dirt work, and general oil field service across the region. Proud to give back and support local at Mack Oil Field Service. Well, officials talk, not a turnover after all. They get together. I think it was the right call, it too. It was the right call. And give it back to Northwestern in the forecourt. Love officials that make sure it's right. 5-18 opening quarter. 5-4 Northwestern. Barnett lobs to Thomas high on the left. Ward on the wing. Ward right hand up top. Both teams very aggressive in the man-to-man -man up front. Barnett dribbles to the sideline, gives to Ferriman, faked the three, put it on the deck, drove down low, kicked it inside. Welch kicked it back to the wing. Barnett. He gives it to the wing. Ward's going to try a three. In and out, no good. But the rebound controlled by Welch down low. Back to Ward, right wing. Barnett, his three, back rim, no good. Rebound tapped out long and controlled by Raber. Up the right sideline. Koblenz to the hole, put it up and in. Jake Koblenz has three, and we're tied. Actually, I beg your pardon, 6-5. Wayne Dill up front. We played three and a half minutes. Right wing, Fairman, long three, rim glass off. And here comes Reber up the sideline quickly. Off to Zerker. Jaden Zerker's runner no good, but a foul call. Well, we're starting like the, the JV game, but if that's the bad case, pace was up yes. all night. And not a lot of fouls. JV game is actually pretty good. Wendell won, but both teams kind of have the same temperament here. Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, this early in the season, it's going to be real interesting what they have left in the tank in the second half because it's warm in this gym tonight. Jaden Zerker, 6'1", senior. Line right, first foul shot up and in. So Welch out, and Northwestern will sub for the first time as the second free throws up and in. Huskies will get Cade St. Clair in the ball game. So Wayne Dale is up 8-5. Into the forecourt on the sideline is Ward. Ward goes down low, good spin move to the hole, no good but a foul call. So I got a defender on his hip, and first free throws of the night are going to be from Jacob Ward or Northwestern. And Wendell's opening foul with 4.11 to go in this opening quarter. Cavs coming up when we are done. Cavs don't tip for another hour. They are in Miami tonight. Ward foul shot up and good. Thomas out. Antonio Perez, junior into the ball game for Northwestern. Talked to both coaches. They said we'll play seven, maybe eight. That's the plan throughout the night. Ward second free throw, airborne and good. 8-7 Wayne Dill. 4-10 here in the opening quarter. The end of the forecourt is Raber high on the left. On the floor on the weave up top and a bumping foul. Northwestern too aggressive. Raber got bumped into. They're going to get Barnett with his first. And team foul three on Northwestern. Four minutes right on the nose here in the opening quarter. It's 8-7, Waynedale. So throwing in across the way is Zerker in the backcourt to Matthias Raber. Raber the basketball. Zerker high on the left side against the man-to-man. -man. Up front, Koblenz swings on the right, and a three went up for the baseline, and good by Raber. 
First hoop by the junior. Plaindale, their second three. They do 11-7. Perez to Ward, top of the key for Northwestern. Quickly in the forecourt. And a bumping foul, Waynedale. Non-shooting foul. They're going to get Jaden Zerker. And he picks up his first foul with 3.37 in the period. Waynedale will sub. First entry by Evan Yoder, the six-foot sophomore. They lob it inside. St. Clair went up and in. Nice athletic move. Saw that on the football field. Yes. Heck of a wide out for Northwestern. And showed a little athleticism there on the out-of-bounds under. 11-9, Waynedale. Into the forecourt. Basketball is Reber. They double-team him. Right sideline. And poke loose and out-of-bounds. It'll stay with Waynedale. 317 opening quarter. Waynedale up 11 9. And throwing in, they bounce it. It's tipped loose and stolen away by Barnett, but got one foot on the sideline trying to keep possession. Good effort, but Waynedale maintains possession. Of course, you know, you and I have talked about it. I think the coaches agree. The new foul rule favors a team that maybe wants to be a bit aggressive. Yes. Those fouls all reset at the end of the quarter. Basketball up top and on the weave. Give it off to Zerker. Zerker on the right wing, Raber. He got bumped, put up a shot, went in, and he got fouled. I think he was just hoping the foul call, he gets both. Barnett just picked up his second. And Raber has five and at the line. Yeah, when, when Wayne Dale struggles on the offensive end, it's when the ball goes to the wings and they let that trap get to them. They keep the ball in the middle of the floor. Good things have happened for them in this game so far. Free throw up and in. Six for the junior, Matthias Raber. And Wayne Dale's up 14 to nine inside three minutes to go here in the opening period. On the right wing is Perez. St. Clair up top, swinging on the left. Fairman the ball, put it on the deck. Barnett on the right wing with the ball. St. Clair. Up top, give it to Perez. Ward at the left elbow, turns on Koblenz and backs it out behind the line. Down to 235 to go in the opening quarter. Perez up front to Barnett, middle of the floor, and he'll fire the three, rim glass off. Jaden Zerker rebounds for Waynedale. Bears up the sideline, Koblenz on the left. He's going to attack the rim, and he ran right over a defender to do it. Player control foul on Jake Koblenz, and we head the other way. First Th foul on Koblenz. Thomas back in. Welch back in for Northwestern with 2.22 to go in the opening quarter. Waynedale up 14-9. Northwestern 3 for 10. Waynedale 4 for 7 in the early going. Into the forecourt comes Fairman. He has both Northwestern field goals. Up top of the basketball. Perez on the wing. Give it to St. Clair. I beg your pardon. St. Clair has the other one. Those are the three for the Huskies in the opening six minutes. Farron up top, and he'll fire the three. Back rim missed this one. Rebound tapped and loose, and good hustle. Controlled by Waynedale and Jeremy Reber. Reber into the forecourt. The two guys wearing those big knee braces, Reber and Reber up front. And those can't be comfortable in hoops, but obviously protecting them. Right wing, Koblenz will try a three. Got it from downtown. Jake Koblenz, six in the opening quarter. And Waynedale's hit three threes. Three for three. 17 to nine Bears. We're now to 90 seconds to go in the quarter. Remember, they hit 13 threes last weekend in their opening game. A win over Tesla. Up front is St. Clair on the right point. Middle of the floor. Slows the offense down a little bit. Left sideline, Thomas dropped it inside to Welch. Kicked it right wing. Perez open for a three. That's up. Back rim no good. Long rebound. Controlled by Evan Yoder. Waynedale into the forecourt with 105 to go in the opening quarter. And we stop action because the net got tied up under the hoop on that last made three by Koblenz. So Waynedale will trigger just across the timeline. Zerker throws into the backcourt and Raber will control. Raber and Koblenz eat six for Waynedale in the opening period. Raber up top, given off to Koblenz on the right wing. On the handoff, here comes Zerker. Pulls up middle with a key floater, in and out. Rebound tap, loose, and Northwestern able to save. Good job by Easton Thomas. Fairman on the run into the forecourt, right to the rim with the off-balance shot up the glass and good. Northwestern needed that. Fairman with seven. 
35 seconds to go by the quarter. Waynedale leads 17 to 11. Up top, Reber to Zerker, and ball moving around the right to Yoder. Evan Yoder swings right to left, and on the weave up front, Waynedale with 20 seconds of the quarter. On the sideline is Zerker. Raber up top will drive, get inside, put it up, in, and foul. Another and one situation for Matthias Raber, who's got eight points in this opening quarter. I'll tell you what, that was great balance to even be able to get that shot off. Pretty impressive. So substitution, first entry by Braden Schlebaugh. Don't forget the Trust Downs construction for all your big remodeling projects. Owner Don Downs thanks all veterans for their service and wishes the best to all the teams this season. Downs construction, 330-828-8145. Free throw good, 10 seconds in the corner. Thomas, quick three, right wing missed it. Rebound, Waynedale, five seconds. Up the sideline of the forecourt comes Reber. Reber driving, laying it up, missing. Rebound Northwestern at the horn. End of one in the Wayne County Athletic League. Waynedale, 20. Northwestern 11 here at WQKT. Hey, it's Brooke from National Design Mart. Dreaming of updating your home with new flooring, countertops, and cabinets? Invest your tax return at National Design Mart with great offers like Triumph Timeless Beauty LVP with four colors in stock for only $3.69 a square foot and our popular granite and quartz You Pick 2 offer. Stop in our Medina or Worcester location or visit us at nationaldesignmart.com for details. National Design Mart, your design superstore. Jermaine Honda of College Hills offers three different levels of Honda Certified Protection now. Honda True Certified Plus, Honda Certified, and new Honda True Used. These are Hondas that go back 10 model years with unlimited miles at a very affordable price, below $15,000 in some cases. All three levels provide the assurance and peace of mind that you are buying a high-quality, reliable Honda. View our inventory at JermaineHondaOfCollegeHills.com or call 330-345-5200. In the Wayne County Athletic League, Wayne Dale here at home leads Northwestern 22-11. Matthias Raber with nine. Jake Koblenz six for the Bears. Owen Ferriman has seven for Northwestern. Wayne Dale will start with the basketball to begin this second quarter here at WQKT. Glad you're with us on this Friday night. And throwing in. Bears get it in to Reber. Reber, Raber, Yoder, Yoder, <laughs> and Schleybaugh. Basketball, Schleybaugh on the baseline. Threw it out front, miscommunication, and a turnover for Waynedale, their third. First quarter stats. Northwestern, four for 14, 28%. Waynedale, red hot, six for 11, 54%, including three for three from three-point land, and five for six for the foul line. Go ahead. Ward dropped it inside to Welch. Welch turns, pivots down low, and hooks it up. and Got it blocked down low. The ball loose. Braden Schleybaugh blocked it, and there's going to be a held ball. Possession error will stay with Northwestern. And for Northwestern, one for eight from three-point land, 13%. They're two for two from the foul line. They've got six rebounds, Waynedale nine. Waynedale two turnovers, Northwestern one. So Northwestern triggers. Left of their hoop on the baseline. Fairman. Into Ward, who spins down low with the right hand. Glass rim, good move, but he missed it. And the rebound controlled by Waynedale and Jeremy Reber. Reber into the forecourt. The junior southpaw up front. And he's on the wing, and he fires a three. Back rim, top of the glass, and hit a stanchion wire up there. And the ball will go back to Northwestern. Next weekend, big weekend, normal this time of the year. We'll have coverage of the Steve Smith Classic at Orville High School next Saturday. Six games for you, starting at 11 in the morning here at WQKT. Basketball, Fairman drives down low. Got a block from behind by Reber, rebounded by Yoder. Into the forecourt, Evan Yoder on the wing, and he got his pass knocked loose and stolen away by Easton Thomas. So four turnovers on Waynedale. Into the forecourt, ball tipped and out of bounds, and that's going to be a Northwestern giveaway. Ward touched it last, second turnover on the Huskies. Good job by Mark Yoder, because he got the deflection, and really, that's one of those where Jacob Ward, you're trying to catch it, and it gets the wrong angle, and you're just not ready for that bounce. 20 to 11, Waynedale, early here in the second quarter. Raber into the forecourt. 
Up top, swinging on the left. Baseline drive, Koblenz, kick to the wing, Yoder. Back up top, good ball movement. Three up and in by Matthias Raber. He's got a dozen, and that's four Wayne Dale threes. And the Bears have more than doubled it up, 23 to 11. Ward up top and on the right to St. Clair for Northwestern. Fairman top of the key. Fairman gives off to Thomas. Ward on the left wing. Swings cross court. Fairman dropped it inside. Welsh posted, laid it up and in. First hoop of the night for Anthony Welch. 23-13, Wayne Deal. Six minutes, second quarter. Quick three, Zerker, left wing, up and in. Well, the Bears are hot from downtown. Zerker's got five. Five for six from long range. That will qualify as hot. 25-13, Wayne Deal. 5.45 in the second. Thomas, left wing. Why not? Got it from downtown. Easton Thomas, the second triple for Northwestern. Needed his first points of the night. Back the other way is Raber. Up top, top of the key. Yoder kicked to the wing and to the baseline. Koblenz, his three. Back rim missed it. Rebound tapped out of bounds and will go back over to Northwestern. We'll call Hybrid Insurance for all your insurance needs. Working with multiple companies to get you the best rates. Auto, home, business, and rental properties. Great insurance to fit your budget. Check online at HybridInsurance.com. 522, second quarter. Wayne Dale 25, Northwestern 16. Early start here at WQKT. The announcers certainly applaud that tonight. Fairman up top and over on the left. Thomas cross court pass tipped and stolen away. Down the floor, Reber to the hole, laid it up and in. Good anticipation by Jeremy Reber. He's got five. 11 point Wayne Dale lead again inside five minutes and a half. Barnett drives down low, kicks baseline. Welch, backdoor cut, intended for Ward, got tipped away and out of bounds. Of course, you always fall prey to what happens in the JV game. In the Wayne County Athletic League, they start at 5.30. Normal tip is 7 o'clock, so we weren't far away from that yeah. tonight. A little bit early, but that's okay. And I thought actually we were going to be a lot earlier. First half flew by, second half dragged. Down low, inbounds pass, and a little bit of a bump. Mark Yoder got called for the foul. And Yoder's foul is his second. Yep. Yeah, and we're going to get, I believe, a timeout. Well, did someone call it? There they did. <laughs> Northwestern and Mark Alberts Jr. did. Timeout on the floor, 4-44, second quarter. Wayne Dill up 27-16, back after this. Two here. Connection, comfort, and safety. Three necessities for every stage of senior living. At Danbury Senior Living, peace of mind is a must for the senior and their family. Experience this and more at Danbury Senior Living of Worcester and Millersburg. Stop in for a tour at Glen Drive in Millersburg and Portage Road in Worcester. Or visit us at danburyseniorliving.com for more information. A leader of senior care in Wayne County for nearly a decade. Let Danbury be your choice in the next step of senior living. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible systems, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg quarter overall as well five makes from three northwestern's got a pair so northwestern to trigger out of bounds baseline to the right lob it up top thomas ward barnett Ferriman, and welch on the floor for the huskies barnett whipped it down low low on the low block on the right ward put it up and got it blocked by zerker and then a foul by northwestern on the loose ball is going to be on welch so good block down inside Second one Wayne Dale's had in the paint. Welch's fouls his first of the night. I believe that's four team fouls on the Huskies. Northwestern, a little 2-2-1 two, two, for the first time. Raber in the backcourt with Koblenz. Now Raber up the right sideline. Four court on the run comes Reber. Baseline down low on the left is Schlebaugh. 
Reber on the wing, dribble, stops, mid-range jumper, rim and off. Rebound tapped into the corner loose, and Reber comes up with it. Three-point line, he fires and hits. Downtown all over the place. Three-pointer good by Jaden Zerker. That's his second triple. He's got eight. Six threes by Waynedale, and they lead 30 to 16. Fairman, low block on the right, dropped it off the war. The reverse layup, no good. Got his own rebound, back up and in. He stuck with it. First field goal for the senior, he's got four. 340 in the second. In the backcourt, up the right sideline, throw it into the corner, and Waynedale turns it over. Their fifth here in the opening half. Perez and St. Clair re-enter for Northwestern. I'm sure head coach Mark Alberts would love to see his team get about a six-point run here and get this lead cut in half before halftime. Well, he said, you know, that was critical in the, in the triway game. He said they were down nine, had the ball. Instead, they went down 12 after a turnover and a three, and he said mentally they never came back from that. Inside the ball, tipped by Wayne Dill and out of bounds. Good defense by Schlebaugh on an entry pass for Ward. So 321 to go in the half. Quickly Welch back up and in as Ward gets a rest. Mark Alberts Jr. said probably seven tonight. That's what we've seen yeah. in the opening half. He's got a couple of injuries. One injury and one young guy that can't play yet. So that's why the rotation not as deep. Perez up top, but on the left wing to Barnett. St. Clair in the middle of the floor. Guarded by Koblenz. Put it on the deck behind him to Barnett. Barnett on the left wing with three minutes to go in the half. Pushes right sideline to Perez. Back up front, Barnett faked a three. Now got to the elbow, a jumper good. Very nice head and shoulder fake. Brandon Barnett, first hoop of the night. In the backcourt, Reber is trapped. Northwestern in a little 2-2-1 again. Koblenz up the right sideline and off there to Mark Yoder. Yoder double teamed up top and on the wing. Hoblin saved. They pressure him. Perez knocks it away, but then can't control that on the ground. Schlebaugh gave it up. The three on the wing. Up and in from downtown. Zerker hit his third three of the quarter. Quickly, Northwestern the other way. 2.20 in the half. St. Clair up top to Barnett. 13-point Dale lead. Three put up and in by Barnett. He's got five back-to-back -back hoops for him. 2-10 in the quarter. Ball kicked in the back loose and stolen away by Perez to Barnett. And he got fouled going to the hole. So good job by Antonio Perez defensively. Come up with a couple loose balls. And a couple of free throws now for Brandon Barnett. If you're Mark Alberts, you got to feel very lucky that you're only down 10 points. Waynedale 7 for 9 shooting three-pointers. Yeah, I mean, tough to do much better. Yeah, you can, but let's be realistic. Yeah. Barnett's got five in a row and make it six. He's on the line shooting two. Yeah, if Waynedale cools off at all, Northwestern can get back in this game. Rayburn was on the bench quickly. He is back in. And Evan Yoder will sit with 2.04 to go in the half. It's 33-24 right now. And 33-25 as Barnett hit them both. And again, little 2-2-1 by Northwestern. Raber getting back in for ball handling up the left sideline. Reber gave it to the wing. The three by Zerker. Got it. Jaden Zerker is on fire in a Wayne Dale timeout. 151 to go here in the opening half. Wayne Dale by 10, 35, 25. Back after this. It all started in 1955 when Orlo Sinclair opened Orlo Auto Parts in Oroville. Now, 15 stores later, Orlo Auto Parts continue the legacy of providing top quality parts along with helpful, friendly Napa know-how. They take pride in their family history and knowledge plus customer satisfaction at Orlo Auto Parts. Independently owned, Orlo Auto Parts has the parts you need for your vehicles, lawnmowers, farm equipment, and industrial engine. The right place for the do-it-yourselfer and the professional is Orlo Auto Parts. 6, 9, 12, 15, 7. Now I got two too many. Did they miss something? They must have gave it to somebody. Well, what I'm saying is, how many points count your points? 20, 35, 37. That's what I have. Th those threes must have been counted as twos. Whoa. We're, we're going to check the book, but I bet you that's what happened. So that's what we'll go with. 
Timeout with 1.51 to go in the half. Wayne Dale called it. They lead by 10. Jaden Zerker with 12 points. 10 have come here in the second quarter. Big lift off the bench for the 6'1 senior for Wayne Dale. Barnett with the basketball into the forecourt. Pushes. Left elbow. Welch turns. Drives down low. Now spins into the middle. Covered up nicely by Schleyball. Back on the wing to St. Clair. St. Clair left of the key. Short jump shot up and in. Second hoop off the bench for Kate St. Clair. Northwestern giving Waynedale just a little bit of problems with the three-quarter court. This time they beat it easily. Koblenz dribbled through it up top to Reber. Reber on the right wing behind him to Raber with 1.15 to go in the half. Waynedale leading by eight. And ball tipped by Fairman out of bounds and off of Waynedale. There's a turnover, and that's number seven on the Bears. Yeah, the last two, three minutes in this second quarter, Northwestern's defense beginning to wear a little bit on Waynedale. 70 seconds to go on the half. The lead is eight. It was as much as 13 here in the second quarter. On the right sideline, Fairman. Fairman comes left hand, top of the key with the ball. And up top to Welch. Back up front, St. Clair middle of the floor as we go inside a minute in this opening half. A lob it to the foul line. Turning there is Ward. Left wing, Perez thought about it, turned it down. Kick to the corner. Barnett baseline drive up and in, spun it up and in. Nice second period for Brandon Barnett. He's got nine all in the quarter. Into the forecourt, 35 seconds. Waynedale now up six. Down low, the shot put up by Schleybaugh, blocked by Perez. He got it back, top of the key. Reber with it at the elbow. He's left alone. He fires and hits. Jeremy Reber knocked it down. He's got seven. 20 seconds in the half. Into the forecourt. Northwestern trails by eight. St. Clair up front. Top of the key foul line. And they call him for a travel. Came to a skidding stop left of the key. That's just the fourth Northwestern yeah. turnover. They've done a nice job handling the ball, but really Waynedale isn't pressuring them hard at all, only in the half court. Ten seconds in the half. Northwestern again, three-quarter court with a press. In the backcourt, Reber up the sideline. The ball tipped by Ward into the corner and out of bounds and will stay with Waynedale. 4.5 in the half. And Waynedale will throw in with Zerker at the end of the Northwestern bench on the sideline. He looks and pitches in on the wing. Raber fires the three. No good. And that's going to be the half. Entertaining opening half here in the Wayne County Athletic League. Wayne Deal at the break by 8, 37-29, leading Northwestern. Back into the studio, Dean's got halftime, news, weather, and sports coming up after this.
home builder with a wide selection of floor plans or customize your customize your own home plans just bring them to 89 homes they're located at routes 30 and 89 dromesville 89 homes.com or on facebook mr breckenridge take it away we get ready for the third quarter of basketball cavaliers coming up tonight Cavs in miami they don't tip for another half hour approximately so we will get almost all of that don't forget Kitchen town and country a full service Fresh and local grocer, meat and deli, and of course produce. Great taste starts at Kidron Town and Country Store. So basketball will be Wayne Dale's to begin this third quarter of play. 20 to 11, Wayne Dale after one. 18-17 Northwestern in the second. Nobody in any serious foul trouble. Wayne Dale, as you mentioned, five of six in the line, but all in the first quarter. Yeah. And Northwestern only took four. So inbounds and up top of the basketball is Matthias Raber. Wayne Dale with good balance, as they expect most of the year. Down low on the right wing, Raber. He fires a quick three up, and that's short, no good. Rebound, Fairman. And basketball into the forecourt. Barnett up top of the ball, and over on the left wing. Into the corner, the ball got loose. Welch able to save. Welch left to the key, turns, dropped it off. Barnett cutting inside. The runner is good. Brandon Barnett, 11, and all have come in about the last four minutes. Yeah. Northwestern continues to pick up now full court, little diamond press. Over the top comes Reber. Reber drives right to the hole. The layup, no good. Follow up around the rim and out by Yoder in a whistle and a foul call. So two cracks won't go, but a foul in the end of it is going to be called on Jacob Ward. That'll be his second. End of the line will go Mark Yoder. Yoder looking for his first points of the night. And foul shot no good. Wayne Dale played last Friday, won their opener over Tuslaw in blowout fashion. Northwestern 1-1, one one, lost to Triway to open up and then bounced back with a win over Columbia in game two. Second foul shot, also no good. Into the four court, Northwestern down six, as close as they have been since first quarter. Left wing three by Fairman, no good. Ward tipped it off to Welch, and he got it stolen away by Raber. Raber one on two, left side, good pass, and the runner went up and in by Reber. Nice little trail by Reber, who's got nine. Down the floor, Welch the other way, bowls inside with the left hand, but he missed it. And Koblenz grabs the rebound for Wayne Dale. Up the sideline on the wing. Drop it down low. Spinning inside, Mark Yoder back on the wing. Koblenz three. That's the back of the rim, no good. And the rebound, Welch of Northwestern. 6.25 in the third, Wayne Dale by eight. Fairman drives inside, put it up, runner, no good. And rebound controlled by Wayne Dale. Into the forecourt comes Reber. Raber foul line bounce. Yoder turns left wing all alone. Raber's three. That's good. Northwestern couldn't find the shooter. Third three by Matthias Raber. He's got 15. Oop. Six minutes to go in the third. Wayne Dale back up. Double digits. They lead by 11. Uh, top Barnett got it kicked into the backcourt by Raber, who dives on the ground and now comes up with it, and they're going to give him a timeout call. Good hustle defense. And now two guys running near each other coming off the floor. Incidental contact. Barnett got tiled up with Reber. And hopefully they're both okay. And they are. Get to the side. I think everybody needs a break. 5.49 to go in the third. Timeout. Wayne Dale. They lead by 11 back after this. When quality matters, trust the experts at Hallmark Home Solutions. Right now, get 0% interest and zero down when you enhance your home's curb appeal with a beautiful new entryway from Hallmark. Call now for a free estimate. Hallmark Home Solutions. When quality matters, trust the experts at Hallmark Home Solutions. One here. This is an important stretch right here. So best of luck to all high school athletes coming from J-Horse Manufacturing. Committed to providing customers with quality CNC and fabricated products. You can fly in person and down there. Go online, jhorse.com. 
After all that, it'll be Wayne Dell basketball with 5.49 to go in the third. They lead 42-31. So Raper with that good hustle play and the timeout by the Bears bench. His inbounds pass is then kicked. So we'll do it again on the baseline right of the Waynedale hoop. Zerkert will now throw in. And he lobs up top to Raber. Raber got it tipped loose by Barnett, stolen away. Barnett racing down the floor, being trailed by two guys, puts it up and missed it. And the rebound, Waynedale. Back the other way, long pass. Raber inside, turning down low. Koblenz shot, and that's no good. Rebound loose, and Ward has it for Northwestern. And the ball gets tipped away out of bounds. Not exactly smooth right now yeah, on either rough. end of the floor for both teams. And this is a really important stretch right now because Waynedale could run away with this really easy if Northwestern doesn't be careful. 5.25 in the third. Waynedale up 11. Ward to the foul line. Spins down low. Good move. Short jumper, but he missed it. Did not go. And the rebound, Jake Koblenz. Back the other way is Raber for Waynedale. Raber near the top of the key. And whipped it down low, posted up inside. Jobert up and in. Tough shot, Mark Yoder. That's his first field goal of the night. And it's a 13-point Dale lead. It was six early this quarter. Fairman, top of the key, spins at the elbow, kick to the wing. The three put up by Thomas, no good. Fairman rebounds back up and in. Fairman's first point since the first quarter. He's got nine. Quickly, Reber into the forecourt for Waynedale with 4.35 to go in the third. Basketball up top. Left sideline, Zerker back up front. Mark Yoder at the top of the key, over to the right wing, and handing behind him to Koblenz. Koblenz on the left sideline. Northwestern chasing a little bit more defensively now. Huskies in a little bit of a 2-3 look. Haven't seen this before, but they are. And they get a knock loose, but controlled by Raber deep in the right corner. Back up front, Raber's three. Good again. Four threes on the night for Matthias Raber. 18 to lead everybody. Three-point shot has been huge for the Bears. And their biggest lead right now, 14. Middle of the third quarter. Welch posted up down low. Turn, shoots, and scores. Nice move inside. By Anthony Welch, he's got four. I want to see more of that. Basketball in the backcourt. They trap and cause a turnover. Northwestern gets the steal into the forecourt. Fairman, baseline drive on the right. Got it inside, but he missed the shot. And Matthias Raber gets the rebound. Three on two break. The outlet pass tipped that away by Barnett. He saved what could have been an easy hoop. Perez and St. Clair re-enter for Northwestern with 325 in the period. So Wayne Dill will throw in baseline right, up 47-35. And a lob up top. Reber has it near the top of the key. Kick to the left wing, and Koblenz three. Back rim no good. Zerker with the rebound left of the key. Zerker on the left wing. He's open for three. Why not? In, out, back in. Four, actually 15. I don't want to short him one. For Jaden Zerker, that's his third three. Barnett into the forecourt. Fairman's long three is good from downtown. Timeout, Northwestern. Fairman with 12. And Mark Alberts just wanted to call guys over the net. Got stuck up, so he's going to keep them on the floor. No time. 50-38, to 38, Waynedale. Three minutes in the third. And in the backcourt, a whistle and a foul. St. Clair will pick up his first in the trap. West Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center, a tradition of innovative care close to home. They have what you need to get you up and moving. West Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Center, offices in Worcester, Orville, and Millersburg. So, ready to go again. Waynedale will throw in in the backcourt on the sideline. And Northwestern continues to apply pressure. Diamond press this time, the 1 2 1 1. Up the left sideline, Reber, and threw it away. Perez the steal in the middle of the floor. Barnett has it. Barnett, top of the key, drives into the middle. Got knocked loose from behind. It's rolling on the deck, and a whistle. And we're going to get a holding foul on Waynedale. Ward went to the ground, and somebody grabbed him. And they're going to call the foul on Mark Yoder. 
And that's his third for Wayne Dale. 2.41 to go here in the third quarter. It's 50 to 38. Wayne Dale in front. For the most part, they're letting them play. That's only the third foul this whole quarter. Yeah, they really have. Ward's baseline inbounds left of the key. Right hand works into the middle. Turns back. Copeland shut him off. Nowhere to go. Back up front to Barnett. Barnett on the right wing. Checked by Reber. Top of the key to Perez. Perez on the floor. Drives down low to the hole. Put it up and in off the glass. That's his first basket, but really, Antonio Perez has given them good minutes. Yes, he has. Defensively off the bench. 2.15 in the third. Here comes Wayne Dill up the sideline. Reber on the left. Raber kicked to the baseline. Open three. Firing. Shot is no good by Zerker. And the rebound kicked to Perez. Fairman the other way for Northwestern on the left wing. Fairman out top to St. Clair. St. Clair on the floor to the baseline. Got inside. Put it up in and fouled. That is six off the bench for Cade St. Clair. And just like that, the lead back to eight with Northwestern on the line. That was a nice job by St. Clair to gather himself at the bucket to go up strong to get that and one. Yeah, it's a good point because a lot of guys, Trank went off one foot yes. out of balance. He went off two. Yes, he did. And was able to take that bump. So Ward's going to get a break for Welch. And St. Clair with the line. Northwestern four of four from the strike in this ball game. And foul shot, front rim, no good. Reber gets the rebound. And weaves through traffic into the forecourt. Left wing, Zerker, down low, turning. Little short shot by Yoder, no good. And the rebound, Koblenz, but he lost it. And Perez comes up with a Northwestern takeaway. Up the sideline, Barnett. 135 of the third. St. Clair, short jumper, rim, glass. This one came out and rebounded by Koblenz. His outlet pass went right back to him on the deflection. Raber into the forecourt. Up the sideline. Long three by Evan Yoder. That's no good. Fairman rebounds. And here comes Northwestern with a minute 15 in the third in the bumping foul. Jeremy Reber is going to be called for the bump. That's his first. Northwestern on a 7-0 run right now. It's been a series of short runs. Mm -hmm. Northwestern got it to six early in this quarter. That's as close as they've been since the first quarter. Waynedale would eventually lead by nine after one. St. Clair throws in up top. Fairman right through his hands. He looked away. Down the floor, Zerker one-on-one -on -one to the hole. Put it up and a whistle and an offensive foul. Barnett waiting for him. Took the player control foul. And second foul on Jaden Zerker. Twelfth turnover on Waynedale. 109 to go in the third. 50 to 42, Waynedale. Northwestern has done a wonderful job of turning Wayne, Wayne Dale over in this game. It's about making shots. They're not making the shots they need to make on the offensive end. Fairman's going to get a break for the first time. Let him rest, get ready for the final quarter. And here comes Barnett. Wayne Dale's been nothing but man to man throughout the night. Northwestern has played a little bit of zone, and they've been trapping since the second quarter. As the ball gets tipped away by Waynedale and out of bounds. Waynedale being led by Matthias Raber with 18. Jaden Zerker, 15. And Northwestern's going to call time. 101 to go in the third. We'll take the break. Waynedale by eight here for Northwestern back after this. When quality matters, trust the experts at Hallmark Home Solutions. Right now, get 0% interest and zero down when you enhance your home's curb appeal with a beautiful new entryway from Hallmark. Call now for a free estimate. Hallmark Home Solutions. When quality matters, trust the experts at Hallmark Home Solutions. Right now, get 0% interest and zero down on your choice of high-quality, energy-efficient, vinyl, wood, and fiberglass windows from Hallmark. Call now for a free estimate. Hallmark Home Solutions. Well, if you can't find new, renew your home with the Apple Creek Banking Company's renovation rate special, minimal out-of-pocket expense. Call the Apple Creek Banking Company for their low rates. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. I told you, Wayne Dale's leading scores prior to the break. Northwestern, 12 by Ferriman, 11 by Barnett. Lead the Huskies. Northwestern, 6 for 14 in this quarter. Wayne Dale, 5 for 14. Inbounding down low. St. Clair got good position. Put it up. In and out. No good. And the rebound controlled by Wayne Dale. Boy, Northwestern got what they want, but didn't work. Tensions are high on both ends now as the ball gets kicked by Northwestern. 
Northwestern crea- trying to create turnovers, and Wayne Dale wants fouls. Northwestern wants turnovers. So, in other words, it's a normal game. Yes, it is. <laughs> With 48 seconds to go in the third. Wayne Dale by eight here in the Wayne County Athletic League opener on WQKT. Inbounds, Raber in the backcourt. And Raber topside on the left with the ball. Up top, lobs foul line, turning their Schley ball. Basketball on the right wing with it. And a whistle. And a shoving foul on Ward. That will be his third. Nobody with more than three on either side. Ward has three for Northwestern. And Mark Yoder, three for Waynedale. So Ward's going to come out now. Make sure he didn't pick up a cheapie here in the final 35 seconds of the third. Smart move by Coach Alberts. Fairman back in. Waynedale up eight, throws in. Raber on the left. He's got four threes tonight, but they stole it away. Perez down the floor to Barnett. Lost it going out of bounds, and it goes right back to Waynedale. Boy, Northwestern in the last couple of minutes has really had some chances yes. to get even closer. Yes, they have. It's only Miss, their seventh turnover, too. Missed some inside shots and a couple of giveaways. And the backcourt, Raber, up the sideline on the run. Give it to the corner. The three put up by Zerker. Back rim off. Rebound tap loose, and Perez has it. Northwestern into the forecourt. Barnett racing down the floor all the way to the hole. Put it up. In and fouled. Brandon Barnett, the in one. He's got 13. And the lead will be six with a free throw to come. You know what the difference is? Northwestern's taken three threes this quarter. They are taking the ball to the hole relentlessly, and it's getting them back in the game. Barnett didn't score in the first quarter. 13 now for the senior car. And line to the right. The foul shot is good. 13 seconds to go in the half. Wayne Dill triggers in the backcourt. A foul call. Reber got bumped into by Barnett. And that's his third foul. Easton Thomas comes in quickly. 9.7 in the third. That's four fouls on Wayne Dale as well. Five on Northwestern. They're going to put the on one up right there. So for the first time in any quarter, we get to the bonus. And I think it's Reber who got fouled. He yes. will shoot two if it is indeed five. Now, no, it's not. It's four. You had it right initially. I thought so, yeah. Kudos to you with 9.7 to go in the third. So Reber will trigger in front of the Northwestern bench in the backcourt. He scouted up the right sideline, down to six seconds. Out top, knock loose, stolen by Fairman. Tried to beat the clock to the hole, laid it up and in with one second, and that's going to be the quarter. Northwestern ends strong. We have a three-point ball game going to the fourth. Waynedale 50, Northwestern 47 here at WQKT. Are you worried your savings won't last your lifetime? Star Strategies can help with a common sense financial plan that doesn't lose to market downturns. Call 330-345-5207. That's 330-345-5207 or on the web at starstrategies.com. Star Strategies will make your money work smarter, earn more, and last a whole lot longer. Remember when life was simpler? We do. At Star Strategies, we keep things simple by explaining financial strategies in an easy to understand manner to help you prepare for your road ahead. Well, we got a ball game here tonight to the Wayne County Athletic League opener. Waynedale 50, Northwestern 47, head to the fourth. Northwestern outscored Waynedale 18 13 in that third quarter. So, Northwestern with a basketball. Fairman steal and layup with one second to go in the quarter. Gives him 14. Barnett 14 for Northwestern. Raber 18. Zerker 15 for Waynedale. Fairman up top of the basketball, top of the key to the elbow, spins down low, got to the hole, put it up and in. Fairman was 16, and Northwestern trails by one. They were down 14 in this third quarter. Raber in the backcourt. Give it off up the sideline to Reber. Sideline on the right. Reber to Zerker. Down low. Yoder posted up. 
Turns into the middle. Now back to the right. Short shot up and in. Mark Yoder, second field goal. He has four. Waynedale by three, just underway in the fourth. Perez up top to St. Clair. St. Clair on the floor, right of the key, dribbles down low, tough shot, glass rim off, rebound loose and controlled by Wayne Dale. Jake Koblenz the board. Yoder into the forecourt and waits for help. Koblenz on the right wing, Reber. Reber bounced to Yoder, right of the key, got it knocked loose, stolen away. Good poke loose by Welch. Perez, 2-1-1, on one, lost the dribble, put it up, missed it, got his own rebound. Back up front, Thomas. Foul line jumper, St. Clair, no good. And rebound, Wayne Dale again with Jake Koblenz. 6.45 to go, Wayne Dale by three. Raber in the forecourt up top for Wayne Dale. Looks, looks, covered up, lobs diagonally cross court to Zerker. Foul line is Yoder. Yoder bit inside. Koblenz got free. Missed it in and out. Boy, that was halfway down. And here comes Northwestern. Left sideline, Perez. Perez up front. Three-point line, St. Clair. Fires. Got it. And timeout is, no, it's another rim situation. We're fine. This is our first tie since the opening minute. Nine for St. Clair. Here comes Waynedale. Up the sideline. Zerker. Back up top, Koblenz, foul line, runner in the key, good and fouled. So Waynedale trying to stave off the Huskies, and Jake Koblenz with eight and at the line. Huskies very confident all of a sudden. And I think Waynedale has felt that Northwestern pressure. Yeah. Koblenz first point since the first quarter. 54-52. Waynedale, a bunch of time to go, 5.57. Waynedale, 5 of 8 from the line. The foul shot, no good. Rebound, Ward. Here comes Barnett. The end of the forecourt. Thomas up top. Give it to St. Clair. Left sideline to Barnett. The wheels down low. His pass went off the knee of Reber. Stolen away by Raber. Raber into the forecourt through traffic. Right wing and back up top. Yoder needs help, cutting down low, Reber to the wing, three-point line, firing Matthias Reber, no good, and rebound went to St. Clair. On the run out, down the floor, one on two, he's going to the rim anyway, and he got fouled. So two free throws upcoming by Cade St. Clair, who's given them a nice lift off the bench. That has completely changed this whole game, Northwestern getting to the bucket. Nine for St. Clair. First free throw in this fourth quarter. He's 0 for 1 for the ball game. And fires and hits. Since 1951, Sterling Farm Equipment providing quality farming equipment to Ohio communities. Check out their stores in Worcester, Sterling, and Medina. And don't forget they have great Christmas toys and the clothes for the kids. St. Clair hit them both. We're tied again at 54. In the backcourt against pressure. Raber gave it off to Koblenz. Timeline is Yoder middle of the floor. Yoder over to the right wing. Stops. Thought about it. Thought better of it. With 5'10 to go. Back out front to Raber. Yoder between the circles. Now over to the left wing. Northwestern in a 2-3. Didn't see this until the third quarter. And it's really helped out the Huskies. Yoder at the foul line. Turns. Bounce pass, great look down low into Zerker. He laid it up and in. That was beautiful. Zerker was 17 off the good dish. Wayne by two. 440 to play. St. Clair up top with it. Barnett high on the left. Barnett bouncing to Ward 15 feet away. Left of the key. Right wing kick, Barnett. Baseline, triple. Back rim, no good. Rebound tapped in out of bounds. And we'll go back over to Wayne with 429 left. 56-54. Wayne Dale in front. Perez quickly back in for Thomas. Through three quarters, 19 for 42 from the field for Northwestern. That's 45%. 18 for 37, 48% for Wayne Dale. Quick timeout taken by Wayne Dale. We'll break with 4.29 to go in the ballgame. They lead Northwestern 56-54 here on WQKT. 
Connection, comfort, and safety. Three necessities for every stage of senior living. At Danbury Senior Living, peace of mind is a must for the senior and their family. Experience this and more at Danbury Senior Living of Worcester and Millersburg. Stop in for a tour at Glen Drive in Millersburg and Portage Road in Worcester. Or visit us at danburyseniorliving.com for more information. A leader of senior care in Wayne County for nearly a decade. Let Danbury be your choice in the next step of senior living. Four twenty-nine to go in the ball game. Fifty-six, fifty-four, Waynedale. Only one foul on each side, so we might see a lot of contact the final four and a half minutes. Yeah, they're going to play hard right now. I mean, this this is up for grabs. Both teams playing really, really good basketball for this early in the year. I'm pretty impressed with what I'm seeing out on the floor. Raw Seasons Dumpster Metal, specializing in roll-off dumpsters for household and construction items, serving Wayne County and surrounding areas. All Seasons Dumpster Metal, you pitch it, we ditch it. So, Wayne Dale ball out of a timeout. And full court press by Northwestern. They trap on the inbounds. In the backcourt, they create the turnover. The pass got knocked loose and off the leg of Matthias Raber in a giveaway for Waynedale. 16 of those tonight. 4.26 left. And Fairman will throw in. Up top to Barnett. Waynedale stays in man-to-man. -man. They've been in that all night. Barnett top of the key with the ball. Out to Perez up top. On the right wing to Fairman. On the floor to the foul line. Stop left wing. Barnett dribbles the runner. Glass it in. Barnett with a 16-point night. We're tied at 56. 4.05 left. In the backcourt, up the sideline, Reber. Right baseline, Zerker back up top. Down low, Koblenz got inside and got hammered going to the rim. So Jake Koblenz will go to the line. Two free throws for him. The foul's going to be on Owen Fairman, and that'll be his second. Waynedale from the line tonight, five out of nine. Koblenz one of three. He's got eight. Line left for the 6'2 senior. Up and no good. Cavs to follow tonight as soon as we're done. They are about ready to get underway right now in Miami. Koblenz one more line left and back rim no good. Rebound Northwestern. They can try and lead. Fairman to the four-court line. Lane runner. Good, and he got fouled. Fairman with 18. And the Huskies lead. For the first time tonight. And it comes with 3.50 to go in the ball game. Only have taken five three-point shots in this second half. It's been the whole difference of this game. They're taking the ball to the hole, and they're going hard. Fairman's foul shot in and out, no good. The rebound, Koblenz. 3.45 left. Still full court press. Raber cross court lob over to Reber. Back up front, Koblenz. Top of the key to the wing. Baseline is Zerker. He got inside. Good pass to Yoder, who laid it up and in. Mark Yoder with six. Tied at 58 with 3.30 left. Barnett, top of the key to the wing to Fairman. Fairman up top of the basketball to Perez, middle of the floor. Both teams also have committed just two fourth quarter fouls. Ward up top, but on the left wing now. Northwestern a bit more deliberate this set with 3.10 to go. Top of the key with the basketball. Left elbow Ward, guarded by Yoder. Ward put it on the deck, right wing Perez. His three went up, but no good. Weak side, rebound, fought for and out of bounds and touch last by Northwestern. It'll be Waynedale ball with 2.57 to play. Tie game at 58. Waynedale had as much as a 14 point lead in the third quarter. Into the fourth court, they have it. Reber on the right wing, back up front. Give it to Koblenz. Bounce to Yoder up top to Matthias Raber. 2.40 to go. Northwestern in the 2-3. Zerker on the left wing. Give it to the left elbow. Yoder back up top. Raber inside the line. Now baseline Koblenz. Down low. Good. Passing middle with the key. Yoder hits. Nice interior looks for Waynedale. Mark Yoder's got eight, six in the quarter. 
And all three hoops on just like that, little short runners. Waydale back in front by two with 2.20 to go. St. Clair put it up on the foul line and hit it. He wanted contact. Instead, he got the hoop. And Northwestern calls time. We'll keep it here with 2.13 to go with a ball game. 13 off the bench for Cade St. Clair. Northwestern 5 for 8 here in this fourth quarter. And Waynedale even better than that, 5 for 7. And both teams are taking the ball to the hole. They're not settling for the outside shots that they did in the first half. So 2.13 to go, tied at 60. The arrow goes Waynedale's way. And again, the foul situation. Two to give on each side before we hit the bonus. By the way, free throws tonight, if it comes to that, Wayne Dill 5 of 11, Northwestern 7 of 9. It has been entertaining, and the way the Wayne County Athletic League is this year, with maybe the league compressed more, bottom coming up, top coming down a bit, might see a lot of these. We may see a lot of these games, and that's okay by me. I love the excitement, that's for sure. A few more gray hairs, yeah, and fewer hairs for the coaches. Indeed. But you're right, good theater for us. So out of a timeout, I believe two timeouts remaining for each team as well. And Wayne will trigger in the backcourt. 2.13 to go on a tie ball game. Northwestern still with a diamond press. Yoder looks up the floor, beats the press, and gives it off to Reber. Reber on the wing to Reber. Inside the line, the long two. No good, but he got fouled shooting it. Yeah, Matthias Raber will go to the line and shoot a pair. Jacob Ward will pick up the foul, and that's going to be his fourth. With 2.04 to go in the ball again. Raber two for two tonight from the foul line. 18 points for the junior guard for Wayne Dale. Line to the left, and the first foul shot is good. So Ward will come out at least for the moment with that fourth foul as Welch comes back in. Waynedale back in front, 61-60. 2.04 left, line left, one more. Second one, rim glass, and it went in. 20 for Raber. Here comes Northwestern down a hoop inside two minutes. Barnett to the forecourt. Up top, give it off to Perez, middle of the floor. Perez on the right to St. Clair. St. Clair with the basketball. Looks, put it on the deck to the foul line. Stop, jump shot, front rim off. And the rebound, Reber. 140 to go. Reber up the right sideline to the forecourt. Wayne Dill up two. Reber up top. Foul line, stop behind him to Reber. Left wing, Reber to the foul line. Give it off to Mark Yoder. Yoder back to the basket. Wayne Dill a little bit more of a spread this set. Not deliberate, but they travel up front. Miscommunication between Reber and Raber. One went the other way, and a turnover result. 17 of those. 123 to go. 62 60. Waynedale in front. Northwestern ball. Thomas for St. Clair, the Husky substitution. And a whistle. About something. Somebody might have some blood on his leg. Yeah, Anthony Welch might have something on the leg. They're going to let him continue if they can take care of that with 121 to go in the ball game. But whatever it is, he's fine. So that's good. Put a little pre-wrap on that. We're good to go. Mark uh, Albert Jr., the wise veteran. He took a time. Huh? Yeah, he used the time? opportunity to <laughs> gather the troops. <laughs> he's any, a wily veteran. He is. Any opportunity. So here comes Northwestern down two. Into the forecourt, Barnett, 115 to go. Barnett, top of the key to the right wing inside the line. Out top, Fairman, three, no good. Rebound, Wayne Dill and Koblenz. 110 to go. Rayburn in the backcourt. Northwestern still with a, a foul to give. One minute to play. Wayne Dill by two with the ball. Koblenz up top and a whistle. And a quick timeout taken by Wayne Dill, which will leave them one. We'll keep it right here with 57 seconds to play in the ballgame. 62-60 is the Wayne Dale lead. And I believe one timeout for Wayne Dale and two for Northwestern still left. 
So don't turn it over for the Bears is number one, but that has been one of their problems in the second half, giving up the lead. Yeah, and a lot of it has to do with the aggressiveness of the Northwestern defense and how the officials are letting them play because Northwestern's the ones that's creating. They're not making mental mistakes. Northwestern's just making the plays. So 57 seconds to go. Northwestern has one foul to give. Wayne Dale with the lead, 62-60. So good opening act in the Wayne County Athletic League. Yeah, you chose wisely. Sometimes it does work. Mm -hmm. But this year it might be easy to do. Yeah. So into the forecourt, Wayne Dale will trigger just across the timeline. Northwestern picking up man-to-man. -man. Lobbing into the backcourt, Yoder catches, they double him. Back in the front court on the wing, give it off to Zerker. Zerker up top, play keep away. Raber, middle of the floor, 50 seconds. Raber still up top, works his way over to the left point. Sideline, and the pass is kicked out of bounds with 44 seconds to go. And again, Wayne Dale to trigger. Question is, how long does Northwestern wait? Remember, they got one foul to give. Wayne Dale up two, triggering. Looking, having trouble. They finally get it in. Trap is Reber, but got it off. Raber up top of the basketball. Raber back on the left wing. Give it off to Zerker. Left sideline. And 35 seconds to go. Wayne Dale not looking to shoot. They're playing giveaway, and there's the foul. Fairman finally forced to just kind of a little half shove Matthias Raber. That's team foul four. We'll shoot the next one with 31 seconds to go in the ball game. Yeah, it's probably not the guy you want to foul from here on out. Probably their best free throw shooter. And tonight he's four of four. Yeah. Really, he and Koblenz, the only two guys who have taken foul shots. Zerker shot a pair. But Northwestern might not have the opportunity to be picky. Waynedale up two, gets it into Raber. He's in the backcourt. Raber top side on the left. Reber, and they foul him with 26 seconds to go. And here's where the new rule really comes into play. Yes. No more one and one. So in some ways, the pressure is off the shooting team. Don't have to make that first one. You know you're automatically going to get two. By the way, the foul on Fairman is his fourth. Waynedale up two at the line. Jeremy Reber, he's got nine. Foul shot, back rim, front rim, no good. 26.3 to go. One more for Reber. Up, back rim, no good, but rebound Yoder, Waynedale, and he got fouled. Long rebound came off the back rim. And Mark Yoder will go to the line and shoot a pair with 24 seconds left. Yoder quietly has all eight of his points in the second half, and six have come in this final quarter. Yeah, but Wayne Dale's just two for seven in this quarter from the foul line. See what the 6'3 senior can do. Up. No good. Sixty-two, sixty. Wayne Dale. Welch for Perez, the sub. Northwestern has two timeouts if they want them. So Yoder tried to make the lead three for Wayne Dale. Foul shot up, good, hit this one. Northwestern down three, doesn't necessarily need one, of course. Fairman to the forecourt, 20 seconds. Up top, St. Clair. Left wing, Barnett. Barnett driving down low, gets to the rim, and he got fouled. 15.2 to go. Reber the foul, Brandon Barnett to the line. And I saw Mark Alberts Jr. say, look, we don't need a three. Mm -hmm. And Barnett went right to the rim. Yes, he did. Barnett has 16 on the night, and he's three for three from the line. He's had a wonderful floor game, especially in the second half. Line to the right, foul shot, good. He's trying to cut the Wayne Dale lead to one. 63-61 right now, 15 seconds to go. By the way, if we have a tie-up, Arrow goes to Waynedale. Barnett second one. Good. Hit them both. An 18-point ball game for him. And here comes the pressure. Perez and Thomas back in. Full court. Waynedale up one, triggering in the backcourt. And running the baseline to be once. Koblenz gets it looking. He runs and has to call time. And that's going to do it. For Wayne Deal. We'll take the break, I do believe, with 15 seconds to go in the ball game. We will. Wayne Deal by one. Back after this. 
The employees at Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative work hard and wear many hats at the cooperative. But that dedication goes beyond providing power to keep the lights on. They are also very active in their communities. Some volunteer at their local church, others are coaching youth, and some give back through working for their township or a community board. So what makes the cooperative different? We focus on people. Holmes Wayne Electric, always here for our members, always here for our community. Hey, it's Brooke from National Design Mart, dreaming of updating your home. So 15 seconds to go with the ball game, 15.2, might need the tenths. 63-62, Waynedale. They will inbounds underneath the Northwestern hoop. They'll have a spot. Yeah, and, which is different than just a moment ago. And they don't have any timeouts left, do they? I think. But I'm, they're not putting them up on the I board, know. and I tried to look down. I know Northwestern does. They have two. Yes. But I believe the Bears are out. And again, Koblenz will trigger. 63-62, Waynedale. And here comes the inbounds. Looking to throw in. They get it into Raber, and he's quickly fouled. Northwestern can't be picky now nope. with 13.9 to go. Waynedale gets the guy they want on the line, Matthias Raber. 20 points tonight, and he's 4-4 four four from the stripe. He'll shoot two here. And if he hits them both, Northwestern might be looking at having to shoot a three unless they can get it down the four very quickly. So Raber line left. We'll get a pair. Waynedale up one. First foul shot is in and out. Ward and Fairman back in for offense for Northwestern. Three for ten. In the fourth quarter yep. for the line is Waynedale. 63-62, Waynedale, 13.9 to go. One more for Raber. Second one up, back rim, missed them both. And the rebound, Northwestern. St. Clair, 10 seconds to Fairman. Fairman up the right sideline to the forecourt. He's stumbling. Back up front, St. Clair for three. Shot no good. Rebound, Waynedale. And a whistle and a foul with 1.3 to go in the ballgame. Northwestern really wanted a foul on the shot. They didn't get it. And now 1.3 to go. Waynedale's on the line, up one. Not done yet. Free throw shooting is going to be Jeremy Reber. Boy, Northwestern got a real good look. Yes, they did. And St. Clair's got 13 on the night, but just didn't go. Now Reber on the line. He's got nine. He's 0 for 2 from the stripe and hit it. Now the lead is 2. 1.3 left. And now decision. Do you make it or miss it? Northwestern can call time. Either way. Raber looks around. Steadies. Fires. Hit it. The lead is three. And here's a timeout by Mark Alberts, Jr. So now Northwestern needs a little bit of magic with 1.3 to go. Down three at 65-62. So we'll see how it all shifts out here tonight. But it's been pretty good to start the league season. For us, anyway, it's always good. So with 1.3, maybe you get a dribble and a hoist. That's about it. Of course, the most important thing, other than the shot going in if you're Northwestern, is someone can make an accurate pass out of the out-of-bounds. Everybody practices these throughout the season. Those late second, we got to get a shot up in a blink. Now, of course, Waynedale probably doesn't have the opportunity to foul here because there's not enough time. But here's the thing. Waynedale's got a foul to give. If you got a guy with his back to the basket, you can yes. grab him, but that's still such a dangerous thing. If there's more time, maybe. I don't see it here. If Northwestern can score on 1.3, sometimes you, you hand it to him. Northwestern can catch, take one dribble, and it's got to go up. Ward is the guy who's going to inbounds. Nobody else in the backcourt. Everybody near the timeline and in the forecourt. Northwestern down three. Here we go. Ward the ball. Looking. Fires down the floor. It's going to be caught by Waynedale, and that's going to be the ball game. Reber got the interception. And Waynedale comes out with a hard-fought win here at home. 65. 62. 
in the opener. Post game stats and story coming up after this. Hey, it's Brooke from National Design Mart. Dreaming of updating your home with new flooring, countertops, and cabinets? Invest your tax return at National Design Mart with great offers like Triumph Timeless Beauty LVP with four colors in stock for only $3.69 a square foot and our popular granite and quartz You Pick 2 offer. Stop in our Medina or Worcester location or visit us at nationaldesignmart.com for details. National Design Mart, your design superstore. Jermaine Honda of College Hills offers three different levels of Honda Certified Protection now. Honda True Certified Plus, Honda Certified, and new Honda True Used. These are Hondas that go back 10 model years with unlimited miles at a very affordable price, below $15,000 in some cases. All three levels provide the assurance and peace of mind that you are buying a high-quality, reliable Honda. View our inventory at JermaineHondaOfCollegeHills.com or call 330-345-5200. After 350 to 47 and wins it in the closing seconds, 65 62. Wayne Dale 2 and 0 overall wins their leg opener. Northwestern to 1 and 2. Each team has tomorrow night off. Caps are coming up in just a moment. We have to quickly give you some post game stats, and Pete is doing that I'm ready. right now. Go ahead. Post game stats brought to you by Home Appliance Company in Maslin. Best in product, price, and service. They have all the name brand appliances at great prices. Home Appliance Company in Maslin. We will go with the team stats. First, Wayne Dale with a win, 65 62. They shot both teams red hot in this game. 23 of 45 for Wayne Dale, 51%. Northwestern a little better, 24 of 44, 54%. From long range, Northwestern, 5 of 17, 29%. 3 of 10 was Wayne Dale, 30%. Northwestern, 9 of 11 from the foul line, 82%. Wayne Dale, 10 of 21, 48%. Northwestern, 24 rebounds. Wayne Dale, 32. And leading the way for Northwestern, Jacob Ward, 7 rebounds for Wayne Dale. Jake Koblenz with 8 rebounds. And then Wayne Dale, 17 turnovers. Northwestern with 9 turnovers. In the loss, Northwestern 18 point night for Brandon Barnett 18 point night for Owen Ferriman 13 point night for Cade St. Clair and then it goes down to 3 points for Easton Thomas 2 points each for Jacob Ward check that 4 points for Jacob Ward and 4 points for Anthony Welsh and that is your total of 62 for Wayne Dale on the other hand 20 point night for Matthias Raber also on the night, 17 for Jaden Zerker. Nine points each for Jeremy Reber and Mark Yoder. Yoder with seven of those nine in that fourth quarter, and that really was needed for Wayne Dale. And then Jake Koblenz ended up with eight points in the winning effort. 65-62, Wayne Dale survives. And your post-game stats brought to you by the Home Appliance Company. Best in product, price, and service. North Erie Street in Maslin. So that'll do it. Cavs Miami coming up next. We're done. Opening night here with the Wayne County Athletic League as Wayne Dale survives at home. Thank the dean in studio. For Pete Norman, Mike Preckeridge, have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for joining us tonight. High school boys basketball final. Wayne Dale 65 and Northwestern 62. Cavs Miami coming up.